I am Adil Kumar and here is a test question for you. How to get information about velocity and acceleration from graph of position function? I will sketch a graph. You can actually pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Right. So let us sketch a graph here and try to understand. So let's say we have time on independent axis and displacement or position vector along the dependent axis. I'll consider an object which starts some distance away and let's say it is just there and then it kind of moves towards the uh, you can say sensor and then kind of like this and then kind of like this and then this okay so that is the path being followed by an object critical points which we may investigate are these okay so let's call them let's start from a b c d e and f right so we have a position as i have already mentioned here we have position versus time you need to write down in these intervals what happens to velocity and acceleration here is how i will approach let us understand what is velocity so velocity as a function of time is actually change in position right so first derivative as far as acceleration is concerned it is first derivative of velocity or you can say second derivative of position right so that is rate of change of velocity or second derivative of change of position so that is how velocity is related with the position now we will discuss two things in these different intervals what happens to velocity and acceleration so let me create a table here we can write down in this table uh, whether velocity is positive or negative or zero same with acceleration whether it is positive negative or zero is it okay so at these different intervals we will discuss that part so let me just draw uh, some lines here to discuss velocity and acceleration you can actually still pause the video answer the question and then look into my suggestions from the graph, can you tell me when will velocity be positive, negative, increasing, decreasing? Well, for velocity, we have to consider slope of tangent. So that will tell us story about the velocity. Is it okay? So we'll talk about velocity first. So the points for us are, let's write down, we have A, B, C, D, E, and F, okay, F. So from A to B, since there is no change in position, the velocity is zero, right? So no change in position, velocity is zero. If you draw a tangent, we have horizontal tangent line, correct? Now what happens between B to C? B to C, this was like zero, but now if you draw a tangent, it is negative, and at C, it is steep, very steep. Is it okay? So, what is really happening here from B to C that the velocity is negative? So, let me write negative here. This is negative, but it is decreasing, we will say, because it is becoming more negative. Is it okay? So, we we'll say it is decreasing. So, D is C is for decreasing. So we have decreasing negative velocity becoming more and more negative, right? So that means more negative. At point C, which we see the concavity changes, so that is called point of inflection. We'll discuss with acceleration. So let's be continue with velocity. After C, it is still negative, but not that much negative. Is it okay? So from C to D, 
it is still negative however in this portion it is increasing so inc is increasing so i'm using dc for decreasing and inc for increasing okay <clears throat> now from d to e we notice that it is zero and from e to f tangent is negative so it is negative uh, and that's it right so this is all about velocity which you can easily figure out just by tangent so so the idea is slope of tangent line is it okay now let's talk about acceleration so when you consider acceleration we are more concerned about concavity so we are more concerned about concave up or concave down since that is second derivative concave up means we are looking for something like this concave down means something like this and wherever there is change it is zero so really speaking concave up makes acceleration as positive here it is zero and then this is negative so that is how you can see acceleration correct and of course if there are straight lines then it is zero so so for acceleration a uh, let's say a t will be equal to zero for three conditions when we have a straight line let me write use this red, red line straight line or we have straight line like this or we have straight line like this or when we have a point of inflection so these are conditions when we will have zero acceleration so before we get into intervals let's get to some points which are very important and critical concavity changes at c right so at c we have a point of inflection let me write point of inflection right <laughs> now here actually it becomes straight so it is not going from increasing to decreasing so there is only one point of inflection here which is at c so at c we will write a critical point point of inflection where acceleration is zero is it at c so this is kind of different it is not an interval correct so temporarily the acceleration will be zero now let's look into the graph and fill the other values that is how you could do in test also right so a to b is a straight line zero this is concave down so it is concave down means acceleration is negative concave up means positive so in between it is zero do you see at this point it is zero okay so at between d to e it is again acceleration is zero and here it is a straight line again zero so acceleration is is zero now when i say negative it means concave up right so let me just sketch the graph here uh, to indicate how it looks like so in this interval the graph is kind of like this in this interval concave down and in between temporarily at c we have point of inflection right and at all of the places where we have horizontal lines or a constant change in speed, I mean position, which is constant velocity. So this is constant velocity. That means acceleration is zero. Is it okay? So that is how we could easily find the information about acceleration and velocity from the given position function. I hope you find it informative. Please feel free to post your comments and suggestions. Thank you and all the best.